What's up everybody, welcome back to another video to today's video. Here we go again. We are going to be discussing this Detroit Lions roster. Yes, the Detroit Lions roster is going to look a little bit different pretty darn soon because the Lions have some players returning, also maybe some injury updates. So let's get it started. No, I got a shout out to the uh, man because it was actually the first time I went live on YouTube. And, uh, you know, guys don't know Dosa D, uh, he put out a lot of good content for the Detroit Lions. Welcome in everybody to another video. Glad you guys are here. And I think this is a video that we have to do. We have to discuss the Detroit Lions roster because there are some players that could be returning very, very soon. So we need to talk all about it. But before we do that, we first off have to give a huge happy birthday shout out to the best receiver of all time. And that is Kelvin Johnson. Megatron. Happy birthday to Kelvin Johnson. Hey, 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 make sure you just hold on for the ride with that big fella. Okay, look, now we don't need to discuss this. We don't need to talk about it, whether or not he's the best and who's the best. We already know, man. When healthy, this is the most dominant receiver we've ever seen. Most dominant receiver I've ever seen, hands down, not even close. This guy's ridiculous, all right? Kelvin Johnson, absolute beast. Sad you're still sad you retired. I, I still am. But definitely appreciate the moments that you gave us, man. It was some amazing moments. And, and go have a, a good cake. What kind of cake do you like? Hey, that's the question of the day. What kind of cake do you like? I don't know what kind Kelvin likes. I mean, whatever kind it is, go eat it, man, because it is your birthday. You're not playing football anymore. So, hey, you know what? You don't have to worry about you eat, right? So go eat that cake, man. Have a happy birthday. Happy birthday to the GOAT. Now, let's get into today's video, okay? So we're going to be discussing this Detroit Lions roster because they potentially have some players returning this week, which will cause them, or force them, I should say, to make some roster moves. And we're going to discuss all of that. Also, the Lions have some players that were injured recently that could be potentially getting back. Those players are Desmond Trufant, you know, CJ Moore, and Hunter Bryant. Those players will know more about them when the Lions start practicing again this week, which is tomorrow. So they'll get back at practice. We'll get some updates on whether or not they're practicing, well, in practice, participating in practice, I should say that. So anybody that asked me about Desmond Trufant, I don't have any updates yet. We still get some, we'll have an update on Wednesday. It doesn't mean they're necessarily going to play if he does practice, or it doesn't mean he doesn't. he's not going to play if he doesn't practice, but we'll have more updates then. Let's discuss this Detroit Lions roster, the players that could be potentially returning, because there's three of them. There, there is three of them. Two of them coming off by R and one coming off a suspension and that player that's coming off the suspension is obviously uh getting the most talk right now and that is J. Ron Curse the safety line signed this offseason out of Minnesota the special team's ace yet a very very good safety that has a ton of size that could definitely help out this Lions defense I'm super excited to see J. Ron Curse I think in the offseason I said he was our x-factor defensively but then he ended up getting suspended which by the way the Lions were aware that this could happen uh they know you know what he went through and what he's done in the past and they said they discussed it with him and they talked about it and they feel good about this situation and obviously now he's reinstated into the nfl after he served his three-game suspension he has deleted twitter he's ready to get things started okay he's ready to go to work and i'm excited to see him work he's been very active on twitter but now he's deleted that because he's ready to go you know he's like okay I've talked, i said my stuff, now I gotta lock in, now I gotta play. And the safety group has been pretty darn good. I mean, Daron Harmon's been special, Tracy Walker's been Tracy Walker went on the field. Will Harris had some definitely up and downs, but he's been okay. You know, Will Harris definitely has room to grow, but he's been okay, he's still been a big part of the safety group. And now you get back J-Ron Kurtz. So the question is, where is he gonna fit in? Who are the Lions going to, you know, move to get him back on the active roster because he's going to be available? And will he play this weekend against New Orleans? I'm assuming he's gonna play this weekend against New Orleans. I just don't know how much, right? I don't know how you know ready he is to go but he did participate in training camp things like that so you know I think he's going to be prepared I don't know if he's going to play that much this weekend it really just does depend on who they're playing it's going to depend like that for every player right who you're playing that changes your game plan but with his size we know that he could play in the box you know kind of like a linebacker as a safety give you that speed he can also do really good things on special teams which makes him very very valuable to Matt Patricia and who are the short lines going to move to get him on the active roster because obviously if he's coming back then someone has to move that way he can get on that roster well there's really one name that I've heard a lot and that's CJ Moore. Now CJ Moore is a safety for the Lions, a backup safety that's very good on special teams. And I, I understand why you say CJ Moore. It does sound to make seem to make sense that CJ Moore would be that guy because right they play some positions. Curse is an ace on special teams anyway, so you know it's not a big deal. But what we heard about CJ Moore this offseason from Braden Coombs is how great he's been. And there was one player that he mentioned out of every special teams player 
and it was CJ Moore and how great he's been. The only problem with CJ Moore is that he's been dealing with injuries. He's another one of those players that were hoping he can get back on the field. I don't think he played last weekend. So he's dealing with some injuries. Let's release that guy for J. Ron Curtis. I guess it depends how much they really like J. Ron Curtis. But I can see the Lions doing that. I also can see them trying to keep both just to really stock up uh, that special teams. One player I'm keeping an eye on here is Matt Nelson. Matt Nelson, you know, backup offensive lineman that we have really hasn't seen the field this year. And the Lions seem to have some pretty solid depth with Big V now returning. You know, they do have Joe Dahl who's on IR. I can see Matt Nelson also being an interesting option. Maybe they look to release him. It could be CJ Moore. Either way though, J. Ron Curse is going to be back soon and I'm super excited what he can do on this field. Okay, J. Ron Curse gives you a lot of flexibility and our safety group is looking nice. I mean, I, it felt like things started to gel and click, you know, last week against Arizona and I think Chris is just going to add to that and be another beneficial player to this back end. I, I'm, I'm so excited to see what J. Ron Curse can do. There's just so much potential because you can put him literally anywhere on your defense and he's got the size matchup with tight ends and it won't be mismatched right he's fast he's he's big it's like he's a big hitter he can play special teams he can do it all and we got him for a one-year two million dollar deal so i'm excited to see him the other players both scarborough both scarborough right he was placed on ir dealing with a leg injury but didn't really participate in training camp this is a guy the lines could potentially look maybe keep on ir if they want to right they could potentially keep an ir depending on how healthy he is because if he's not healthy anyways then what's the point of bringing him back because he probably won't play we have Ty Johnson, who was inactive, and he was healthy because we have so many running backs, right? We're rocking with Swift, Carrion, and Adrian Peterson, and that's all we've really needed. So we still have Ty Johnson, and you got a guy like Bo Scarborough, who, yeah, he's coming back, but are you going to activate him, right? If the Lions don't think they need him, maybe they leave him on IR, or potentially, could he be cut? Really? Could he really be cut? I mean, you're going to have to find a spot for all these players, right? And then Michael Ford. Very excited to get Michael Ford back because Michael Ford adds us cornerback depth that, uh, yeah, we could have used it week one and week two, but he was placed on IR. It's great to have him now, though, because Michael Ford is one of those players that isn't going to be necessarily a starter. You don't want to be a starter, but he's someone that can come out there when a defense tries to spread you out. And if someone does go down or someone is tired, like we saw with Jeffrey Okuda, he can slide in. You have confidence in him. And right now, our cornerback group, if you add Michael Ford, would look like Jeffrey Okuda, Amani, Daryl Roberts, and Michael Ford is your fourth corner. I'm assuming Chris Jones is going to lose his spot here, who we signed about a week and a half ago, uh, unfortunately for Chris Jones. But, you know, he stepped in. He played a couple of snaps in last week against Arizona, so I do have to give him credit for that. He came in on the fly. He did miss a tackle here, but he came in on the fly. He played one uh, cover snap and nothing. They didn't throw the ball his way. So give him a little bit of credit, right? But I just don't really see him making the, the roster. I think he's probably going to be a guy that's moved when Michael Ford is healthy. But as you can see, we have some guys coming back. We have some talent returning to this roster, and still we're waiting on Desmond True and Justin Coleman and Joe Dahl. There's a lot of talent that we're missing right now. And as the Lions continue to get healthy, the bye week's a perfect time because the Lions could be even more healthy heading into the Saints game. Then you're going to get the bye week to rest, you know, kind of get your bodies ready to go. And then all of a sudden, that's another week as we get closer to getting guys like Justin Coleman back off of IR. Right? We're starting to get healthy defensively. We started to click against Arizona. And uh, as they continue to gel together, I think it's going to be much better. And I also think for the offensive side of the ball, Kenny Galladay, as he continues to get more reps offensively and get going again. And by the way, he was great. Get going again. That offense is going to start to open up. So it's good right now to be a Lions fan. It's good right now to be a Lions fan when it comes to health and players getting back. I'm just super excited to see what these players can do. I think Michael Ford is a huge underrated piece that the Lions are going to get back here for depth. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts, comments below, man. What are the Lions going to do with all this? We have no idea. I'll keep you guys updated when it happens. But until then, thank you for watching, and I'm out. You kidding me right now? I had to put my helmet on for this one. Are you kidding? Look at this. Look at all these members. What? What? Yo, hey, shout out to all the members, man. Look, look how many all pro members there are. Like, literally, it's the whole screen, dog. This is crazy. The patrons. Of course, the Hall of Fame members, man. Y'all got the gold color. It's kind of yellow, but it's supposed to be gold. Shout out to all the members, man. If you want to be a part of this, all you got to do is join the channel. But there are perks that come with it. Stay locked in the community tab if you are a member because that's where a lot of information comes out. I appreciate all of you. What?